This video should give easy access to uh, DIY easy nickel plating. It's just a few simple steps. We're going to uh, nickel plate these parts. We've got steel, copper and some coins. So we're going to need white vinegar. This is basically household white vinegar. We're going to need salt, normal salt, and some kind of uh, DC power supply. We've got a container. This can be any kind of container. I've got something transparent. These are the nickel strips that we're going to need to make our uh, nickel plating solution. Again, just white household vinegar. I'm going to put about a litre and a half in here. Obviously the size of the bath depends on the size of the component you want to plate. I'm putting a basically a reasonable size uh, tablespoon full of salt just to stir up to dissolve the salt into that solution. Plating processes can be very complex and you know if you start reading about it you'll fall asleep very quickly. I'm just trying to make this as simple as possible, something achievable at home. There's our power supply. So what we're going to do is we connect up the positive to a bunch of these um, nickel strips. These, these uh, nickel strips are easily available on Amazon. You need a relatively high purity and there are lots of sizes available. And on the negative side we're clipping one. So we're not, we're not going to erode these. The, 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 the positive side is where it's going to erode those nickel strips to make our, our plating solution. Just adding some voltage now, some DC voltage. And we can see the bubbles. So there's bubbles uh, appearing on the negative side. This is nitrogen. And uh, I would recommend that you use a ventilated area with a window open or something because nitrogen is uh, flammable. But in these quantities, it doesn't give much of a risk. But I would still recommend to keep a window or a door open. Now, after about, this is about two hours. So you, we, can, we can see the solution starting to turn a kind of a turquoise color. Now, that's eaten away all of those um, nickel strips and I've replaced with more and we continue the process. So I've basically done this over an evening. So basically the solution is now ready. And uh, I'd say it's taken about four hours to make that solution. And we're gonna try, the first thing we're gonna do is use a coin. So we have to remove the, uh, the strip on the negative side keep the um, nickel strips on the positive side. You, you will note that I, um, I cleaned the coin. I used acetone actually, but it wouldn't be good to touch it with your fingers. It would give, put some grease on it and give you a, a, a plating problem. So this coin now is attached to the negative side. I just need to clip it onto this um, support I've got. And we can see the bubbles again. So this is basically attracting the, um, the nickel inside this solution. We're plating with um, 5 volts and 0.3 of an amp. There's another shot there. You can actually see it changing colour. This is very quick. I mean, I've all of this electroplating, I did it all in the time that it took me to drink a mug of tea, more or less. So now we can see the uh, the line there where it's been nickel plated. That's only probably about five minutes, something like that. Now we've got, uh, it's a copper union. But what I've done here is I've polished up one side of it and the other side is just as it, as it was. See, norm normally with electro plating, you don't get anything for nothing. You, it very much depends on the surface finish that you that you have on the component. So it's well worth getting a good finish on the component before plating. The, the nickel plating will just basically replicate what's on the on, on the component, and you can see the difference between one side and the other. 
This is a steel pipe. I've polished one side more than the other, the same as I did with the Copper Union. It's just to show the difference in the, in the um, finish of the, of the nickel plating. Connect up the, uh, the negative. And now we've got a flow of the solution, the flow of nickel. I mean, bear in mind, as I said, I, I've done all this plating in basically the time it took to drink a mug of tea. You can leave them in longer if you want. We'll come back to all these components at the end of the video and I'll show you them all together. And you can make your own, um, your own mind up and decide if it's good or bad. I think it turned out quite well. This is a, um, a pipe fitting. Uh, it would be brass. Yeah, the honest truth is I didn't leave it in there quite long enough, but it doesn't really matter. It just demonstrates the fact that it works. Now this is a trick that I read about. And it's adding sugar to the solution. And it's supposed to give you a brighter uh, finish on the nickel. So I'm just going to get another coin and we're going to try it. I don't think we lose anything by trying. Please uh, like and subscribe and of course any comments are more than welcome. We're just going to remove this coin now. Look, to be honest with you I don't see any difference at all. I would say it's not worth the bother. Now these are the, this is the first one I did with the nickel plating that you saw. I mean, it's quite a nice bright finish. I mean, it's replicated what was already on the coin and the coin wasn't new. This is the steel part. You can see the more polished side on the right and then the left side, I've just cleaned it with an emery cloth. So it's replicated the, the surface finish, but the, the qualities were very good, I think. This is the copper union. You can see where now where it's been polished and then that was just as it was. So it just proves the um, the nickel plating can be nice and shiny, it depends how you prepare the part. This is the, um, the, the pipe connector, that was, that was brass. I should have left it in there a bit longer, but it doesn't really matter, you can see the effect. And the last one is the, uh, the sugar additive, it didn't make any difference, I think the first one was brighter. Many thanks for watching the video and I hope you enjoyed it and found it informative. I will leave in the description a list of the basically the parts that you need to do this plating at home.